Mr. Engineer, who, according to you, has been the best youngster this season? Well, difficult question because all the youngsters have performed admirably. You know, and, and it's so gratifying mm -hmm. for an old timer like me to see youngsters coming to the fore and earning Man of the Match awards. Thoroughly deserved, which is fantastic. I mean, this is what the this is what the IPL is all about. We are the showcase of the world. We are the envy of the world. And um, to see youngsters come to the fore mm -hmm. is a very, very pleasing sight for me. You know, we have some of the top class overseas players around. But still, the youngsters are beating them to it and winning the Man of the Match award, which is so commendable and so good for the future of our Indian cricket. You know, this is the, all these boys, if they've not already played for India, they would certainly be knocking on the doorstep there. If you and were to pick top one, five, if you were to pick top five, who will be there in, in, the, in the list of your top five best performers? Well, they've all done well. Devati has done well, Rahul Chahal, Bishnoi. I mean, all, all the guys that you mentioned just now, they've all done extremely well. Mm -hmm. And um, it's very little between them. IPL is such a tournament, T20 is such a tournament, that on the day, who's the, who's the, who's the better player? Or on the day, who's the better opposition? And today, you know, my heart goes out to KKR fans. Mm -hmm. But RCB were, were just tremendous. They, you asked if they're picking at the right time. They certainly are. Because Mumbai Indians and RCB are really, you know, creating a gap between them and the, and the rest of the teams. Both are very well balanced sides. And, uh, you know, I can't wait to watch that. Mr. Engineer, let me pin you down here. Tell me who is going to get into the Indian side ahead of the rest. Who is the one from this IPL we see being fast-tracked into the Indian cricket team? Well, Mumbai Indians and Delhi seem to be the two obvious ones. Royal Challengers, Bangalore. These three are for sure. And mm -hmm. then there's a, there's a bit of a gap. And then, unfortunately, CSK has disappointed us. You know, in, in spite of Dhoni... Dhoni's not having the best of... Mm -hmm. He's trying to plug holes in his sinking ship all the time. But he's just not, um, he's just not coming up with the goods this time. Mm -hmm. So I feel sorry for them. They've enjoyed so much success over the years. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, CSK, Kings Eleven, Punjab, you know, they're, they're being left at the bottom. So this, this is a tussle between the, you know, the two other sides, whether, mm -hmm. you know, Sunrise or Hyderabad come to the you know, party or... Mm -hmm. Kings 11 Punjab again have, you know, have got a very good side but they've mm -hmm. just not clicked mm -hmm. Sunrise is Hyderabad they've got mm -hmm. two of the finest mm -hmm. opening batsmen in the competition in, mm -hmm. um, in, but uh, Mr. Engineer what, what, I really, what I really wanted to ask you we showed this top 5 list of the best young performers uh, we featured Shubman Gill Rahul Tevatia, Rahul Cheher uh, also Devdat Padikal who do you think will make it to the Indian side before the rest? Shubnam Gill, Parikal, they, they, they've all, all five of them have got a, have got a pretty good chance. Mm -hmm. But for senior Indian players also, it's so good for them to look over their shoulder as to who, who is pushing them. You know, and, and, and that's a great feeling. You know, Rishabh Pant is, is again, you know, a tremendous player. He's already in the Indian squad, of course, and doing very well indeed, keeping wickets mm -hmm. very well. So lovely to see that. So, I mean, um, you can't just pick out one person you know these, right. these five guys will be will be certainly knocking on the door mm. and we'll get we'll get the senior players worried that if we don't perform you know we youngsters are ready mm -hmm. to step into your shoes so that's a great feeling lovely for indian cricket and i'm very proud of that it's a good headache to have for Indian cricket. Now, Chennai Absolutely. Super Kings, who are currently in the seventh position, are desperately in need of a revival. They'll be looking to string together a series of consecutive wins as they look to stay alive in the race for the playoffs. They have only four points for, for, from seven games and they'll be looking to win at least six out of the next seven games in order to be in the mix of playoffs. Now, uh, Mr. Engineer, you spoke about Chennai and the stage they are in right now. What do you think needs to change really for them to start performing better and perhaps be in contention for a playoff berth? 
uh, they've got to get big totals. You know, the batting has got to click. The bowling has got to click. The fielding has got to click. Unfortunately, neither has clicked at the moment. And that's why CRK are in dire straits. Mm -hmm. But um, the teams that can pick themselves up, and I'm sure people, you know, we're not, we're not way out in the season. So, I mean, um, everyone has a chance. Mm -hmm. in, in this competition. Mm -hmm. You know, you just win three or four games and you're right up there with, with the rest of the squad. Mm -hmm. So it'll take a Herculean effort from teams that are bottom of the table at the moment mm -hmm. to catch up with the likes of Mumbai Indians, mm -hmm. you know, Delhi and um, Kings Eleven Punjab. So, I mean, these three are more or less certain mm -hmm. to come in the playoffs. Who the other two teams will be, they've just got to fight very hard for it. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mr. Engineer, another interesting question to ask you here is MS Dhoni has retired from international cricket. There's a huge spot in the Indian team that is vacant right now. Now, this has also been a tournament for wicket keepers. Who do you see really filling up that spot? Earlier in the season when I spoke to you, you were waxing eloquent about Sanju Samson. But since then, he hasn't fired. Right now, at this stage, who's the man you see who can take over uh, uh, that wicket keeping role? Yeah, well, I wouldn't write Sanju Samson off because he's a, you know, he's been a fantastic player. He's just going through a lean spell. Mm -hmm. You know, on wicket keeping, Rhythman Saha has been a, a brilliant wicket keeper. You know, but more in, more in Test cricket. Mm -hmm. Rishabh Pant has been showing tremendous signs with this. Rishabh Pant is more a batsman wicket keeper, mm -hmm. and Saha is a wicket keeper batsman. Right. So you got to, the captain has got to decide who does he want in the side. Mm -hmm. You know, does he want to strengthen the number seven position or in, in the batting order? Or has he got enough batsmen mm -hmm. to say that I just need a top class wicket keeper? Mm -hmm. So these are the options that have got to be ironed out. Mm -hmm. And it's an interesting uh, it's an interesting headache for the selectors because, uh, you know, and <laughs> I thought we made the best guys win. But IPL has got a long way to go yet. Mm -hmm. I'm Re sure we'll see right. many other faces, see many other heroic. To Farooq, sir. Yeah, yes, Divya, the, go, Divya, go on. He, she actually, wants to ask related a question. To this, yeah. yeah, actually related to this wicket-keeping spot, uh, KL Rahul is also in one contention. But uh, he also, uh, in the initial phase of the tournament, he was wicket-keeping. But now he has left that and uh, the young Prab Simran is uh, doing wicket-keeping for Punjab. So what do you think, like, uh, should uh, KL Rahul being one of that prospect of wicket-keeping for India, should he leave this or should he uh, continue keeping for Punjab? I mean, KL Rahul is one of the best batsmen India have. You know, people like KL Rahul, Shriyas Ayer, these are top-class players. Mm -hmm. But KL Rahul has not been a regular wicket-keeper. He's been a stop gap yeah. wicket keeper, as I see. Mm. You know, and, and he's a brilliant batsman. So I don't mm. think we should we should upset that position. Mm. We should let KL Rahul get along with the job that he does best, mm. and that's opening the innings right. for India. Right. Thank you very that's much, uh, gentlemen. Thank you very much, Diya, for joining me at this hour and uh, sharing your thoughts on that Bangalore win as well as those issues concerning Indian cricket.